Uh, good evening, everyone. My name is Thaddeus Kirkland. I'm currently the mayor of Chester, Pennsylvania. I live in Chester, uh, and also, which is also in Delaware County. Good evening. Thank you, and good evening once again. Thank you, Indivisible, for hosting us, and thank you, Marble Newtown Democrats, for inviting us into your house. I do want to recognize the chairman of the Democratic Delaware County Democratic Party, David Landau. As, as stated, my name is Thaddeus Kirkland. I'm a pastor of the Community Baptist Church. I've been pastoring for the last 10 years. I'm also married to the same woman for the last 41 years, Susie Kirkland. We have five beautiful daughters. We have 12 beautiful grandchildren. Um, I have lived in the city of Chester all of my life. I've lived in the county of Delaware all of my life. I've served in the House of Representatives for 24 years. And during that time, I had the pleasure of chairing Tourism and Recreation Committee, being the majority chair at one point in time in my career. And if you, some of you might know or may not know that that committee is the second largest industry, tourism and recreation, second largest industry in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. Also chair of the Pennsylvania Legislative Black Caucus, the first person outside of Philadelphia to ever do that. Would and you so, like to pay me another card? I'm going to save my money. <laughs> I, I love to sing and I love to write. Can I get a 30 second? Yes, you can. Anytime you want. I'm now wired. I, I just wanted to get a 30 second just to correct the record. Yeah, Chester Plain School District was never broken. What was broken was the Pennsylvania Department of Education and persons in the legislature, legislature who were unwilling to go to war and fight for his children, such as the children in Chester up in there. So I, I don't want anybody to think it was broken. It was the Pennsylvania Department of Education. Thank you. Thank you. I'm running because I, I basically live through what some of you just read about in the newspapers. When we talk about gun violence in our communities and what happened in Florida with those young people, and a lot of folks don't understand what really happened. We didn't just lose a number of young persons. We lost generations to come. Many of those young persons did not have the opportunity to birth a child. And so therefore, we lost generation after generation. And so I'm running because I want to make gun violence reduction, and I want to make sure that we remove weapons of war, because that's what they are, weapons of war from, our, from these stores, from these racks, and move them out of our country because our young people, our young people, we're losing young people each and every day. It's not enough to talk about it. What we just, what we just experienced in Florida, I've talked to some young people in my, in my district and I, tell, and I tell the educators, we have to, although this was a lemon situation, we have to learn how to make lemonade out of it. And that means take the, take the reins and walk with these young people as they stand against gun violence and as they stand against weapons of war. Thank you. Once again, thank all of you for being here tonight. And thank you for simply listening to us. If I would ask you to ask me something about myself or what you would like me to talk about it be, I would ask you to ask me about my commitment and also, I would like you to ask me about my service and my dedication, along with my longevity. Once again, I'm a member, I've been a member of the House of Representatives for 24 years, served over two and a half years as mayor of the city. I have the experience to go to Congress and not only fight, but get things done, to be able to reach across the aisle, to be able to compromise, to be able to work on behalf of persons like yourself. And so, before you leave here today, it is my plea that I am fortunate enough to be the Congressman of the 5th District. The only way I can be that is if you sign my petitions. And so I'm asking you from the heart, that is Kirkland, be so kind as to sign my petitions and come on back and ask me anything that is, that's on your heart. Thank you. So